Hello everybody, welcome to the Cinema Lounge where we sit back, relax, and warm up for a little bit here. Uh, I know it's been a month since we've done a formal podcast. Sorry, the holiday season's just a little bit busy for us. So we're back here, 2018, the first episode of a new season here in 2018. We're going to start off by recapping the year of 2017. Uh, this one will be all about our honorable mentions, the movies that did not make our roster of categories that we're going to talk about in the main episode. So, uh, for me personally, I've watched 38 movies. There's a lot that I've not covered. So, uh, I don't know. It's just It was just hard for us to categorize everything. I mean, for me, I there isn't a worst. I'm going to spoil that right now. I couldn't find a worst. 2017 was just a, a meh kind of year for me. <laughs> I, I had the hardest... I, like, I wasn't searching for the worst, so, but so... Uh, I don't know. So I, I have a friend that likes to see certain movies that are bad, and so I go see them just because see, I'll see anything once. And so I, I very clearly have a worst... But there were there were actually a couple that I was like I can't pick they're just so bad. <laughs> yeah, I I found some that's laughably bad like it's something I can laugh at and be like that's bad but it's not like the worst for me so I you know I won't spoil it but I just just want to say that out loud but it's just it was just I mean people are gonna say oh Ghost in the Shell was the worst and I'm thinking uh, I went to see that yeah. and it was okay I mean it's different from yeah. the original it's just. I thought it was okay. I mean, um... And a question on that, were all the cars in that movie supposed to look like futuristic 80s cars? It's supposed to, well... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, they're taking inspiration from Blade Runner, so I guess that makes sense. I mean... Yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah. Com it comes and full circle. It stuck. <laughs> yeah, that's a first. Um... I don't know what 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 movies just didn't make the cut for you guys. Uh, well, well, I, I have a worst, but it's not really worst. It's just confusing as all hell, and that would be the Dark Tower, because uh -oh. if yeah. if you read the books, I'm sure most people understood it, but I didn't read the books. I was like, what the hell was I watching? I was like, okay, Matthew McConaughey, he plays a bad guy. Oh, what else? The kid's psychic. Guys, 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 what is this? What's going on? Establish your world. Because correct me if I'm wrong. Seeing how the Stephen King books have, you know, big one big shared universe, isn't the Dark Tower supposed to be like the center of the Stephen King universe? <laughs> I, you're asking the wrong person. You're asking the no. wrong person. Answer in the comments below. Yes, if if you want to answer. Uh... It. That was a bad movie because I never read the books either, and I went into it. I was like, oh, you know, I'll check it out. See what? And it was just—I don't know if you saw it, Mike, but it was a terribly rushed, incoherent mess. It made little sense, and the pace was terrible. And it was just like, wait, did that person die? Are they dead now? I don't. Are they dead? That I, I don't understand what happened. So it was just bizarre and poorly made. And I mean, they had—they had the talent. You know, but it just didn't come together. But that did not make the cut for any of my uh, list. Even uh, it's there were too many that were I thought were bad and or forgettable or laughably bad, and so I just that didn't have room for Dark Tower. Yeah, there's there's been a lot of movies that have like a decent cast, but it's just wasted. Basically, I mean, I just got done watching The Circle. Oh, that's one I did not see yet. It's on my list. It to is watch, on, but it, I, uh... <laughs> it, it, it is on Prime Video if you have Prime Video. Oh yeah, yeah. And it has a great cast. It has Tom Hanks. It has Penn Oswald. It has uh, Emma Watson, who's doing a American accent uh, for some strange reason. John, Boy John Boyega is doing another American accent, but they have Karen Gillan, who's doing a, her natural scottish accent which i thought was a bit different like everyone else that's british huh. is doing an american accent but she's doing her natural scottish accent i don't know why um 
Yeah, the that circle is just, I. Like well, it, honorable mention, it was uh, Bill Paxton's final film. Yes, yes. I, oh, I was, was it really? Yes, mm-hmm. I kept. I I saw him in it, and yes, I was kind of sad. I was just like, that's, the... that's his... and he plays he plays the father of Emma Watson's character. Oh, so, okay. And he has um, MS. So he's like mm-hmm. very shaky and he's ill, and it's like, oh, is that your last role? Oh my god, no! <laughs> it feels so bad for you, man. I don't know. The, yeah, the circle's just. It's an interesting concept. It's especially based on the book. I've not read the book. I might want to read the book now to see if it compares. But I was just like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> um, uh, I. I do think it was an interesting concept. I did not like the ending at all. Because at the ending, spoilers, you think she's going to actually do something different with the company. But no, she just installs, hey, let's go with this whole Big Brother concept. Everybody can see what you're doing 24-7. It's like, no, I would never want to live in a world like that. You put a camera in my way, it better be a camera of my own, or else I'm being a shotgun. Yeah, it's 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 one of those movies where it explores the the uh, the internet and social media, and it's just really, I mean, if I just... you want a good if you want a good uh, concept for futuristic technology kind of thing, look up the series Black Mirror on Netflix, ladies and gentlemen. Highly recommended. Exactly. <laughs> um, That's a good one. But there's a uh... lot. There's a lot of other good good movies out there, but Andy, what else have you uh, seen that didn't make the cut? Well, something they could have made any of the negative categories, whether it be worst or most forgettable, laughably bad. Baywatch. Oh my god. That was so bad. I, I knew to stay away from that movie. I knew to stay away. I... Uh... I mean, the trailers didn't really make it look all that great, but I was like, you know, my wife and I decided to see it anyway, and yeah, that was that was rough. It did not make the list for any of my final picks, but it was pretty bad. Um, what else was there? Oh, the mummy. <laughs> the mummy was the mummy was pretty. I don't know if I would say it was awful, but eh, it was just. Eh. This is the best you got. <laughs> I like my uh, what was it last time I was on here and we did that thing with the Whoopi Goldberg mummy or whatever that I <laughs> that movie game. I like that idea better than what they did. That would be much better. <laughs> the curse of the Whoopi or something. I can't remember what I called it, but that that would have been a much more successful movie than that crap that they. Did turned out with Tom Cruise. Yeah, I, I have not seen The Mummy. I've seen the, the Shadows of Critic review of it. Nothing beyond that. Uh, I really wanted to put that as the worst and just lie and say, hey, this is the worst movie of the year, but I didn't see it. <laughs> um, it's not the worst, but yeah. it... it, you know. it yeah. it's, it's, like, it's like the DC movies. They're trying to cram everything in one movie just to say, hey, we're doing an expanding universe. Yay! And... I, and I would say, uh, on a more positive note, though, there are movies like John Wick 2 that were amazing, right. that did not make my best list, but it was just simply amazing. I mean, mm-hmm. Coco, the, the animation, that was really good, too. Uh, oh, yes. It didn't make the list, but, you know, there was a couple of, there were some really solid movies this year, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> most of the Marvel movies... Are on the honorable mentions, I've I, I did enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. I enjoyed Spider Man Homecoming. I actually the best Marvel movie of the year actually for me, comparing to all three of them that came out, had to be Thor Ragnarok. Oh yeah, yeah oh, I'd yeah. agree with that. I'd agree with that. It just didn't make the best of for me. It just, I mean, the Marvel movies were way better than DC movies. I mean, Wonder Woman is good, <laughs> but Justice League was just a mess. Justice League was a hot mess. Uh, I, I, I don't, <sighs> DC just is trying to cram, I mean, DC otherwise, I mean, Lego Batman movie was just a better DC movie overall this well, year, right. yeah. <laughs> and it also didn't make my cut. Yeah, same here, that was another good one. 
Yeah, after seeing Wonder Woman, I had hoped that Justice League would, like, maybe DC's heading in the right direction. Maybe they're finally gonna they're all, have momentum. It's just like, eh, just straight yep. down. Exactly. Uh, I've watched a yeah, lot of comedies. Uh, there's, uh, comedies are just never good nowadays. Things uh, like... Yeah, I don't think I had a, a really good comedy I saw this year. No, there's there's rare ones, but here, I'll, I'll just name a bad ones I've seen. Uh, not, I guess they're okay, I guess, not the worst. Snatched, The House, uh... Huh. It's all The House, yeah. Uh, there's a movie called Killing Hasselhoff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that. I haven't seen it. <laughs> it's yeah, it's not that funny. Um, and of course, the two Christmas-related ones that came out back to back was uh, Bad, a Bad Mom's Christmas, Daddy's Home Two. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. if I could recommend a comedy, there's only one that I, it was really genius and amazing, and it has uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, Killing Gunther. Killing Guther is a mockumentary of assassins trying to kill Arnold, who is a another assassin. I have heard mixed things about that, actually. I enjoyed it. Killing Guther is very... I mean, you don't see Arnold until, like, 20 minutes into the movie, at least, or towards the end of the movie, but it's kind of funny how the mockumentary kind of works out as they trying to kill this guy, and it's on Prime Video as well. Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. Uh, there you go. So, that's the only comedy I would probably... Well, I wouldn't say... The, 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 the Disaster Artist isn't really a comedy, per se. It's more like a... As, it was a drop. It was, yeah, I would it was say, dramedy. But... So, but yeah, the Disaster Artist was, disaster artist was really <laughs> good, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was good. That's didn't make the cut, but uh, it's not get out. Did you guys see Get Out? Oh yes, yes, that was good. I like Get Out. It didn't make the cut for me, but I really like Get Out. That was very good. A horror in the past couple of years, I've taken a step forward. It comes to actually good stuff these days. Yeah, there's been a few. Uh, uh, the Green Room last was that last year. Yes, last year. That yes, was really that, was that was really good. good. Uh, Don't Breathe was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And now get out. So we've had we've had some solid ones this recently. And if I might say, <clears throat> excuse me, one that I that I that I did kind of enjoy. It wasn't didn't do anything big. Was the uh, Belco experiment? I thought that was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, you know, it it wasn't. I thought it would be funnier uh, <laughs> than it was, but yeah, you know, it was fine. Of course, the one shock on that thing was the opening credit of Orion. I thought those guys were gone. Where did they, where did they come from? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, since Whoa. since we previously mentioned uh, John Wick Chapter Two, I, uh, another one that's on my honorable mention is Atomic Blonde. Oh yes, that is another uh, another good action thriller. Hey, look at that. <laughs> I got a lot of DVDs from this year, so um, <laughs> it's 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 astonishing because the DVD has uh, the commentaries, commentary director's commentary, two of them actually. So uh, it's a really decent movie because uh, I love the '80s and it's set in the '80s. <laughs> um, uh, surprisingly, I'm going to say this, Kong Skull Island is not on my main list. Yeah, me neither. Uh, I like that one pretty well, but it wasn't good enough for me to consider it, like, a best, or it wasn't small enough to be a hidden gem or anything, so. Yeah. It's, we, uh, previously talked about that, uh, when it first came out, actually, we talked about King Kong. We did a whole episode on King Kong, so we... If you guys wanted to check yeah. that out, I'll link that to you guys so you can. It wasn't that bad. I just I just checked it out because I heard rumors on the internet that there's gonna be a crossover between him and the new Godzilla movie. Yep. So it ain't, no, it ain't no rumor. It's a it's a universe now. Oh boy! If you saw the post credits, you would know that. Yeah, they they showed the like the cave opera. And, yeah. Yeah. So. 
Um, yeah, I think that's, I mean, there's other, I've seen action movies, I mean, um, I am a sucker for the Fast and Furious franchise, The Fate of the Furious was one of them I saw. Yep, I, I am as well, Mike, it's okay. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> um, uh, and I enjoy, I mean, they're yeah. freaking ridiculous, so they, they get are. more ridiculous, but they're still a lot of fun. They're oh just, yeah. They're just a lot of fun. They are. For sure. Um, I don't know. I, I just couldn't suspend my disbelief for this last one, you know. Because I have all the others on DVD. I will watch them because they are fun. But this last one, I was like, eh. Not so much. <laughs> the trailers were just so, like, it's like, wait, is Dom evil? What the hell's going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same thing. It's the same thing, like, with, like, it was two movies that came out this year that had, like, the, the, the evil side where it's, like, Fate of the Furious and Transformers. It's like, is Optimus Prime evil? kind of thing i didn't i didn't watch i didn't i didn't watch the last night i didn't watch that i i, I, no. I want i wanted to just to see because i did see uh age of extinction when it came out but i uh i've heard plenty of bad things about age of extinction a yeah. funny story uh the only reason i saw that so we just moved uh from ohio to oregon to portland and we were in this temporary housing until we could close on our house and move in. Temporary housing did not have AC. It happened to be record heat, like, in the triple digits. And so we're like, we got to go to a movie where it's air-conditioned. What's the longest movie they have? And it was that freaking Transformers Age of Extinction. So we just went to see it just to sit somewhere with air conditioning for three hours. The only reason we saw it, and it was terrible. <laughs> I mean, it had freaking a Grimlock in it. I mean, <laughs> wow. There's, there's there's a decision. Die of heat stroke. Watch Michael Bay. <laughs> um. Yeah. There's some other. There's some other like miscellaneous. Uh, Hitman's ones. body. Hitman's bodyguard. Though, uh, speaking of action movies, did you see Hitman's bodyguard? I, that was fun. I haven't. I haven't. That's oh. on. That's on. Um, if you're on Kingsman. Net... Oh, sorry. Save that. I'm gonna have, I have two cents on Kingsman. <laughs> it's in it's in my list. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, I try to watch a lot of like uh, Netflix originals or um, Prime Video original movies. I haven't gotten around to a lot of them. I know you might talk about uh crap um 1922 jar um bright might be another one that's on the list i don't know uh it's i i watched the only streaming movies like the streaming originals which were both from netflix that i watched were wheelman and bright neither one made the list for me hmm. okay there's that other stephen king I can't think of the other Stephen King. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I watched that one too. The one in the bedroom. Yeah. Where she's changed. I can't think of that uh, name. <sighs> Gerald's game. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah the, that's the other one. I watched that too. I forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> Another movie to add to my long list that I've watched this year. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Um, but the one I did see on Netflix actually, it's uh the Babysitter. Oh, how was that? That is, it's surprisingly really good. It, it's actually another kind of comedic tone movie. It's directed by Big G. <laughs> it's strange, but it's actually really decent. I mean, if you, huh. I, I, I enjoyed it for what it was. It was um, kind of a twist. Hmm. Um, no, I think there's, I mean, there's not much on my end just because it's just a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Logan Lucky. Did you guys see Logan Lucky? I really wanted to. That's another one I that kinda... was another one. It didn't make the list for me. Uh, if it would have, I probably would have put it under Hidden Gem. Because it was one of those just kind of... It was really good. I mean, it wasn't great, but it was really good. I, a lot of people uh, were talking about that when it came out. Because it was Steven Soderbergh's movie. Uh, the guy who previously directed the Oceans movie. It's like, oh my god, he's back with another caper. Oh my god. It's got it's got Adam Driver with a freaking fake arm, I guess. And there's like 
Daniel yeah. Daniel Craig with a complete revolt like role reversal being like a southern all of a sudden is for a British guy and I'm thinking yeah. and he was like so <laughs> but the I like I I wanted to see that when I first saw it I was like oh my god this is going to be so stupid <laughs> <laughs> I don't know um yeah I liked it I recommend checking it out at some point it's you know it's it's a I would say it's probably Maybe a little funnier than the Oceans movies would be. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. been a while since I've seen those, but... Oh, you can tell by the trailers. It was just very much comedic joke after joke after joke with... Um, yeah, there was stuff... I mean, stuff I haven't seen. I mean, there was, like, stuff like The Foreigner I didn't see. With Jack, oh! Jackie what? Chan. I will be talking about that. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. On that. Good, good, <laughs> good. I've just mentioned the ones I haven't seen, so that's good. I'm going to yes. just bring this out just as a little tease for the audience. Um, uh, Detroit, I haven't seen. Yeah, me neither. Uh, Rough Night and Girls Trip, those two comedies with females. Um, Colossal was another one I wanted to see because I had. Oh, yeah, and, I watched that. Uh, I avoided King Arthur somehow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I liked Guy Ritchie's previous uh, film, which was The Man from Uncle. And now, kind of coming to King's, King Arthur, I was like, oh no. What are you doing, man? Um, yeah, looking lucky. And then. The, the other Tom Cruise movie, American Made, was another one I wanted to see, but I didn't. Yeah, it was fine. Better than The Mummy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you get <laughs> the lesser kind of two evil. Evil. <laughs> lesser <laughs> two evils. It's like, hey, you don't like this Tom Cruise movie? You think this Tom Cruise movie. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's anything else you guys want to mention before we uh, reveal in our main podcast? Uh, not really. Okay. Uh, so yeah, any movies from 2017 that you guys have not considered in the list, uh, please leave a comment below about what your honorable mentions of 2017 are. And I'll see you guys in the main podcast. Adios, amigos. Bye. <laughs>